Uh, it's best, it's really uh, good for us to have a lot of experience. We've had a lot of experience the last three years with people playing, and it really goes in our favor to have people coming back, showing up for summer practices, and getting ready for week one. Knowing how the last two seasons have gone to come so close to winning a state title, bringing something back to Monroe, how much motivation has that been this past off season? Yeah, that's all you hear about, really. You know, last year we thought we were in good hands, you know, getting the all factor off, but this year, we go back, we want nothing more than to win it. You can't go back two times and not win it and then go back a third and lose again. You know, as one of those top tailbacks from last year, how are you trying to shoulder the load, especially for a team that is so run heavy on offense? I just want to be dependable. You know, if we get in a tough situation, I want, to, I want our coaches to be able to look to me. I want our players to be able to look to me and be able to get us out of tough spots. Um, of course, you guys are mixing a new quarterback with uh, Max Hamilton, right? Yeah. Uh, Jack, Jack, with uh, Jack. Uh, what have you liked about him so far as he uh, takes command of this offense? He's a hard worker. He's a really hard worker. We call him Jack Goggins for David Goggins. And so we knew we had, we had, no, uh, we had no doubts in him. We knew whatever he had to do, he, had to, he was going to get it done. Good deal. Who else on the offense has really shone so far for this Adam Central team? Our line. Our line steps it up every year, you know, especially with our offense. How our line goes is how our whole team goes. And if they're down, we're down. And when they're good, we're good. So in the last couple of years, we've been good. So that means they've been good. So it all points back to our line. Yeah, and you mentioned just uh, the guys just trying to make sure they're locked in for week one. What do you feel like is the biggest key just to making sure you guys can hit the ground running come Friday night? No distractions, you know, staying, showing up, especially in the summer, it feeds into the week one. Showing up, staying focused, and not getting too lenient and comfortable. I'm really liking our work ethic. Uh, I think we're coming out here working really hard. Right now, it's just mastering our plays and mastering our route running and our blocking. And, yeah, that's what we're trying to do right now. Of course, a lot of guys back from uh, last year, even two years ago. How much motivation, um, how motivated have the guys been just knowing how the last couple of seasons have ended in Lucas Oil, but just one game shy of a state title? Yeah, just that one game and coming so close, it just eats at you while we're practicing every day. And we're just working towards that final goal, which is obviously state. Uh, as one of those top offensive guys coming back last year, you got plenty of experience yourself. How have you tried to shoulder the load and make sure you can be a leader for some of these younger guys? Yeah, um, that experience I'm trying to pass down to the younger guys and just telling them that even their minor role can fit just as much as a major role and it's just as important. Talking with guys like Keegan, yourself, who are some other guys uh, on offense who you feel like can step up and play a big role for the Saddam Central team? Yeah, definitely our quarterback, Jack Hamilton. He's working really hard. Lane Leonard, he's going to get out there in the trenches. and uh, We got Max Hamilton, um, Trevor Curry, a lot of those guys coming back and a lot of experience. For sure. Uh, just overall, what do you feel like is the biggest key to making sure Adam Central can hit the ground running uh, come Friday night against Garrett? Definitely our conditioning. We got to stay up on that and we got to just hit every block hard, every route hard and just practice really hard. You know, we're all really, it's a brotherhood. We're family and we play for each other and in the trenches and I block for my running backs and my quarterback. I was going to say, as uh, one of those guys that's in the trenches, how do you guys go about trying to set that tone of physicality up front? You know, our offense is the line moves the line of scrimmage. And if the line's not moving the line of scrimmage, the ball's not moving anywhere. And we got to make sure that line's moving so we can keep our running backs moving. For sure. Uh, what have you liked about this offense specifically? Obviously, you got guys like Keegan, Ryan coming back. You're mixing a new quarterback, too. What has stood out about this group so far? Yeah, I, I think there's, it's pretty versatile for offense like us. So we got Trevor Curry, we can air the ball out too. We got Keegan Bloom, Tester, and we got a good line up front. Jack Hamilton, uh, first year uh, starter, quarterback, and uh, I'm excited. And you said you do play a little defense too, right? Yep. Uh, what have you liked about that side of the ball so far? I, I like defense. I like doing the hit and I like setting the tone in the trenches and making sure the ball ain't going nowhere. Of course, this team is gotten to Lucas Oil in back-to-back uh, -back years, falling one game short of a state title. How big of a motivating factor has that been during off-season workouts to take care of unfinished business finally? You know, it's it's really lighting our flame up. You know, it's the chip on our shoulder, and every day in practice, I know a group of seniors, we've been a part of it since we were sophomores, and we're coming out here, and we're trying to get better, trying to perfect our game and be the better team. Overall, just what do you feel like is the biggest key, making sure Adam Central can hit the ground running come Friday night against Garrett? We're going to take it one play at a time and one quarter at a time and do what we can. Uh, I, I've liked a lot of things. I think we have a lot of skill. Uh, we got experience coming back. Um, they, they, know what, they know what it takes to win. 
Um, they know what it takes in practice that they got to be able to do. Um, they need to be reminded of some of those things every now and then. You know, we've had a, a, a kind of a really a, a, a difficult scrimmage. We didn't play as well as we we hoped. Um, you know, I thought we would play a little bit better, and we didn't. And sometimes that's always good uh, for a team to to be reminded that it takes a lot of hard work uh, to get to where you want to go. And uh, these guys respond. Um, you know, we talked about the success that we want to have, and and if that happens, you got to be coachable. Uh, you got to be willing to, to put uh, others before yourself. And, and that's a big part of, of what the success is. So I, I have liked the fact uh, that they, and I'm sure that the kids probably said this, they're, they're pretty close, they're good friends, they work hard uh, for each other, they play for each other. Uh, and I think that's a big part of, of what makes us go. Of course, offensively, you've got guys like Keegan, Ryan, coming back as far as the skill positions. Um, how helpful is it having folks like those that have uh, provided a lot of offense, a lot of yards, scores uh, from last year? It's it's a big deal. Again, experience is, is something that teams really value, and we value that as well. So, you know, really when you look at that, um, they know what it takes – to be successful, that doesn't mean that they're, that it's going to happen easily. But but they at least know what it takes, and they can lead some of these young young guys to come in, or these guys that haven't had much experience uh, to come in and and kind of show them the ropes and get things going. So for us, it's 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 very valuable that uh, they have had experience. How about defensively? What has stood out on that side of the ball so far? Well, I think we got a lot of young guys playing hard, and, and I'm excited about our secondary. we got most of our secondary back. i um, excited about uh, just that extra year of experience that these guys these guys bring that we didn't have last year, you know, and I think we have a, some some challenging points there. I think, in, you know, if we look at the, at the state game, uh, we really struggled a little bit in that secondary, and I think it was our, our, our young guys in and the inexperience that we had at that particular moment. So it's it's a big challenge for us to kind of write that and write that ship a little bit. And so I'm, I'm excited about what they're doing. I'm excited about how they're playing. Uh, they're really uh, embracing a, a challenge. When we give them a challenge, they embrace that, and they know they have to rise to the occasion. Um, as far as some folks who uh, maybe didn't get as much time yeah. last year, maybe some uh, fresher faces, who was uh, trying to st uh, make themselves known or uh, stand out so far uh, throughout yeah. the early part of the season? Um, I, I, I would say definitely – uh, someone like Drew Carr defensively, uh, he got some plays. He's a junior this year, played some as a, as a sophomore, but I think he's one that we're going to really need to, to depend on. we got some seniors that haven't had a lot of playing time in the past uh, that need to step up. Owen Connolly uh, is one of those. He's going to be an offensive lineman and defensive tackle. We, tackle. We're going to need a lot from him. Uh, Gavin Arner is another one that uh, has had, had injuries the last few years and hasn't seen a lot of playing time, so we're going to need to see him step up. And And I'm really excited about uh, uh, Aaron Hershey, who played a little bit towards the end when Ryan uh, Tester went down a little bit with an ankle injury. Uh, he got a lot of experience for us late in the season. Uh, he's going to be our starting running back for us with Ryan Tester, and so I'm really excited about what he can do uh, and see how he then uh, matures and grows throughout the season.